This is the part where I talk to you guys. Find out a little bit about your lives. I like to look for the most interesting people. And I can see that there's a white guy in the crowd. <laughs> And I'm always interested to find out how you found the show. <laughs> so let's start. What's your name, sir? Daniel. Oh, I was talking to the other white guy, but that's fine. <laughs> There's two of you. I didn't know there was two. Sure, the light is behind your head. You look... You could have fooled me. You look like Abdul from... <laughs> With that beard. All right. You, sir. What's your name? Matthew and Daniel. Okay, where are you... Where, let's start with you, Matthew. Where are you from? I like white guys. See, they give you the whole life story <laughs> up front. When I come to you, Auntie, I know. When I ask you, where are you from? <laughs> where are you from, Auntie? <laughs> what made you move? I went to university and then I got a job here. And so what did you study? Oh, wow. wow. Don't get excited, Auntie. It's still white. <laughs> I know those aunties getting ideas now. You know, She'll be so lovely for Fatima. <laughs> we convert him now. Okay, so you work here at a, as an actuary. What do you actually do? <laughs> now what the hell does it? I don't even know. I know you guys work in insurance. You guys tell us how long we're going to live. And then, like, do you know how? Do you know how long, like, I'm going to live? Can you actually, like, calculate that? We're just stopping the show now. I want to know. <laughs> this is for insurance purposes, guys. We're all going to learn today. Yes, tell us. We look at how some people live before and then we make an average between what's Yeah, but what do you use, like, if you smoke, if you eat unhealthy food? Because, like, statistically, my people are dying first. <laughs> Our wives try to kill us the day they start marrying us. Wake up in the morning, got 10 rotis, 14 eggs, with oil, with oil. Sausages, beans. You've never seen that in your life. Oh, no. That's our breakfast every day. Then one day you wake up and you're 50 and your wife acts surprised. You know, I don't know how he got sugar. <laughs> Where did this diabetes come from? What? You know, he was so healthy before. <laughs> Sorry, you are Matthew and you are Daniel. Okay. Uh, tell me, uh, what, wait, you Matthew and you Daniel. <laughs> Sorry, you guys all look the same. Right? <laughs> you also uh, moved to Cape Town? What, what did you study? Medicine. Medicine. Wow. wow. Are you specializing? Are you? Uh, I work in an emergency in the government hospital. Oh, just like me. <laughs> Let's do this, right? You share one of your craziest stories and then I'll tell them a crazy story. I'm a big shampoo bottle of someone's What? What? <laughs> Please don't tell me it was head and shoulders. Because <laughs> now that's just stupidity. It says it on the bottle. You know where this is supposed to go. How did you get it out? Wow, 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 wow. Well, at least, at least he doesn't have dandruff. <laughs> uh, on that same story, I have plenty of crazy ones, but because he told that one, I've got to share this one. I was a student once. Uh, I was also uh, doing my rotation in the emergency. Uh, this prisoner came in complaining of stomach pain. Naturally, one of the more senior doctors says to us, no, we have to do an x-ray because I'm sure it's very common people like smuggling stuff out of prison. They did the x-ray, he puts it up, and we all see a cell phone. A cell phone. But here's the catch. You could see it's an old cell phone and the cell phone was on. We all looking at this thing like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. So it says, guys, watch this. And he says, so tell me, sir, how long has this been going on for? Yeah, I know, just about a day I've just been feeling pain. Okay, uh, just have one question. What's your cell phone number? <laughs> Immediately the guy was like, no, no, I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> a few minutes later. Okay, who's married for a long time now? I don't I I know who's like, ma'am, you, you put up your hand. No, you put your hand up, yes. You were the, the bola, the one. We can all see. Yes, ma'am, how long have you been married for? 11 years. 11? Hey. <laughs> this uncle has socks older than that. <laughs> don't try your luck here. 11 years! He's laughing, look at him. <laughs> 11, okay, let's, let's start an auction. Who can beat 11? 11, let's get 11. Can we have a 12? Can we have a 13? Okay, someone's pointing there. How, how many years, sir? 21. 31? What? No, my man, stand up. Don't lie to us. 31? When did you get married when you were four? 
Can I ask how old you are? 46. Bro, what are you eating? What's your... <laughs> what water are you drinking? Just tell us. 46 years old? Hey, what do you do for a living? <laughs> Bro, what type of medicine do you practice that you look that fresh? Are you doing Botox? Is that what you're doing? Is that... You look like you're Botox, bruh, just all day, in your own face first. Hi guys, I'm selling these new injections. These drips will send you to the moon and back. <laughs> you know those bras, they just lie to you. The, the guy is just emptying out Capri Sun into your... 1,500 just for this. He's mixing all Ross. <laughs> 21 years ago, you got married. And somehow you look this fresh. I don't know. Do you feel like you understand women? That's a loaded question. That's a loaded question. Yes, yes, but it's your <laughs> don't look at her. Don't worry. Bra, you look too fresh. She's not leaving you. Bra, let me tell you something. If you and me are stuck on an island, I'm not just chowing bananas of trees. I'm telling you. So here, Esa here. Follow me on social media and visit my website for show tickets.